Tripoli to uncover how things really stood. A warning on the streets of Tripoli. I want to say to Al Jazeera, wake up because you are in dreaming. No one can kill Muammar Gaddafi. No All can. Libyan with Muammar Gaddafi. At the heart of the criticism, reports that Gaddafi's warplanes bombed and killed dozens of protesters in the capital city. The future of Libya appears to be on a knife edge. Fighter jets have been bombarding the capital, Tripoli, reportedly on the orders of leader Muammar Gaddafi. Later on, they told us that Tripoli is bombed by air force uh, and uh, heavy uh, guns or something like that. And it completely, it must, uh, it's not the truth. The truth seems more to be a city going about its everyday business. These are hardly the pictures of a city on the brink of war. Meanwhile, Libya's capital Tripoli is bracing for what could be another night of gunfire, explosions and fighting. Eyewitnesses say warplanes had been firing at opposition supporters from the air. When we invited the uh, foreign media to come to Tripoli and to Libya and to see and to watch and to send their reports to their channels, we noticed that the administration or management of their channels uh, selected what they want from these reports and eliminate or delete what, they, what does not serve their purposes. Which is why people here are angry. Mohammed's taken a few days off from his work as an engineer to join the throngs of Gaddafi supporters in downtown Green Square. They're hiding this. They're hiding this. Well, what's, what's going on now, okay? All the people are here, just, just, of course, yes, just to be supportive for our leader, Muammar Gaddafi, okay? And they want to hide this. But, say analysts, it's not just what's being hidden, it's also what's actually being said. What we're getting is a pro-U.S., pro-Pentagon, one-sided picture of a, a situation which fills the media with the idea that there's freedom fighters involved in Libya and that there's a government regime that's been an, an atrocious terrorist government for the last, since 1970, roughly. This is nonsense. Here, the Jazeera, you say I'm not in Tripoli, maybe I'm in Afghanistan, maybe I'm in Iraq. The war is clearly not in Tripoli. And just as clearly, Western media has been a little too quick to write off Gaddafi. Paul Islia, RT, Tripoli. And for more on this now, we are joined live from Tripoli by RT's Paula Slear standing by. So, Paula, it seems that there is some kind of internal game going on in Libya. What else have we heard about the possible negotiations between Gaddafi and the opposition? Well, Matt, there certainly is some kind of internal game with a lot of conflict. Reports. On the one hand, we're hearing from opposition groups that Muammar Gaddafi is in talks with them. They say that he's asking for an opportunity to escape the country and that he's proposed a meeting of parliament to agree to a transition period to pave the way for him to lead. These opposition groups also saying that he wants immunity from criminal prosecution and permission to take out of the country large amounts of cash. Now, all of these reports have been rejected by Gaddafi. He has denied these kind of claims on state television. The opposition also saying that if he leaves now, they would not consider seeking prosecution through the International Court of Justice. But as I say, we're not hearing any confirmation of this. In fact, the exact opposite from the Gaddafi regime. At the same time, there's a lot of movement on the international stage. There are still discussions for a no-fly zone to be implemented. The latest word from the U.S. administration and the American president, Barack Obama, is that America is still considering military intervention. Now, the U.S. Defense Secretary, Robert Gates, has been caught speaking quite red-faced. I mean, he didn't realize that he was actually Miked, and he was met at the airport in Kabul, Afghanistan, by General Petraeus. And Petraeus joked to quote him, Welcome back, sir. Flying a little bigger plane than normal. You're going to launch some attacks on Libya or something. And uh, to which the U.S. Defense Secretary responded by laughing and replying, yeah, exactly. So that certainly is something that has caught the American administration and embarrassed them. We also are hearing rumors, though, that the United States has asked Saudi Arabia to supply arms to rebels. No independent confirmation of the blood of the hostage. Now, just a week ago, the coverage of this story in the mainstream media suggested Gaddafi's fate was all but sealed. But what are you seeing on the ground in Tripoli? 
certainly not saying that his fate is sealed. If anything, it seems as if the Western media was too quick to, to bury Gaddafi here in Green Square and in large parts of the capital city. Wherever we go, we're flanked by people waving green flags, cheering Gaddafi's name. There, there is the possibility, and there certainly are rumors, that some of these supporters are being paid by the Gaddafi regime. Whether that's true or not, it cannot be denied that there's certainly are large swaths for Gaddafi here in the city. All right, RT's Paulus, they are live for us in Tripoli. Thanks very much for that report.